How's it going everyone? Welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video is how to not get sick during the holidays, or ever. And I'm also showing you what I recently ate in a day. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of my new videos. Thanks for doing that. All right, so out here on a walk this morning, nice morning, walking my dog, and figured I'd make a video. It's gonna be a what I eat in a day video, and also give you some tips on how not to get sick, because I know the holidays are coming up, and there's a lot of people already getting sick. So, my number one point of advice, ooh, flipping around here with my dog, there we go, is definitely incorporate intermittent fasting on a daily basis, and you're gonna wanna do some longer fasts regularly as well. So this is what I am doing and what's working for me is I'm at least once a week doing a 24 hour fast and the other six days I'm doing a 16 to 21 hour fast. So this just gives the body time to heal, throwing in at least once a week with that 24 hour fast and then intermittent fasting uh, 16 to 21 hours the other six days. Now, I'm also, this is kind of a more recent for me, I've been throwing in a 36 to 48 hour fast uh, twice a month. And this gives the body extra time to recuperate and um, just rest and recover. So I highly recommend twice a month, maybe like every two weeks, putting in a, a longer fast, 36 to 48 hours. So that way you go a whole entire day, go to sleep that night without having any food. And I think this is absolutely key. I think this will really, really help, uh, you know, fight off, fight off sickness. Um, and, and, you know, in fact, a few weeks ago, I started to get some tightness in my back and that's, and I decided, you know, I'm doing, just going to do like a 48 hour fast. And I did that in, you know, I just took a day off from my exercise. I took, I took that time to heal my body. And after about 40 hours, it was completely gone. I resumed my normal, my normal schedule and I had no problems whatsoever. So that's the thing. If you do feel something coming on or you're, you're having pain in your body or you you're starting to feel run down or you feel that cold coming on, what I would do is I would just immediately do a 36 to 48 hour fast and see how you feel. I think there's a really good chance that's gonna take care of the problem. So that's number one. Uh, the next piece of advice, I definitely recommend you wanna eat as clean as possible. And when I say eat as clean as possible, I'm specifically talking about as many fruits and greens as possible. Raw fruits, um, you know, green salads, green smoothies, uh, green juice, and you know, that, that raw living food as much as possible because that's gonna have the most, that's gonna be the most nutrient dense foods. It's gonna help you fight off, you know, clean your immune system the best and, and fight off anything that's coming your way. So, um, you know, eat as clean as you can. And then of course, get regular exercise and get enough sleep. So those are the main things you wanna do to help make sure that you're not getting sick. And here is what I had very recently, just an example of what I would eat on a regular basis. All right, here you go. All right, it's 11 a.m. and I'm gonna start off with juicing some celery and it should make around 16 to 20 ounces of celery. There's some fresh celery juice, so I'm gonna have that. And then on my lunch hour, I'm gonna go out and do a run. So I'll be back a little bit later with what I'm having next. Okay, so now it's about 1.45 and this is gonna be my first of two meals for the day. And I've broken this meal up into three separate parts. I'm just gonna digest a few minutes in between each section of these, of these three parts. So the first thing I'm gonna have is some Marcus Roscrans Green Pro C Mix just mixed in water. Uh, these are just basically like fruits, vegetables, and herbs in the powder, um, really high in nutrients. So I'm gonna throw some of that in some water and drink that down. And after that digests for a few minutes, I'm going to have this smoothie. And the smoothie is going to be two frozen bananas, a cup of frozen blueberries, a couple tablespoons of chia seeds, and some water. So that will be next on the meal. And then after I digest that for a, few, for a little bit, I'm going to make this salad. And I have a huge thing of mixed greens. I have some, uh, some nuts. I have some carrots I'm gonna shop in there. Not the whole thing, maybe half of that. I got uh, organic Fuji apple. 
I have a cucumber. I think I'm going to probably use half the cucumber. And then I'll use a, two or three tablespoons of some guacamole. So that will be my first meal. And then I'll be back a little later with my second meal. There's the smoothie right there. It tastes phenomenal. So I wanted to show everyone. It is really good. I love that combination. Blueberry, banana, chia seeds. Super good. Okay, then about six o'clock, I made this big platter of food, and it's quinoa, black beans, sweet potatoes, and kale, and there's a cashew cheese, it's vegan, cashew cheese sauce that I'm going to give a recipe for soon, and I had a piece of whole grain toast with peanut butter on it. So this was my second meal. It was really, really good, very satisfying, and again, I'll be, I'll be back sometime soon with the recipe on the sauce. And then after I made this huge platter, I was still a little bit hungry, so I ended up having uh, one more piece of whole grain bread with some peanuts. So thanks for watching, everyone. Give a thumbs up, and we'll be back soon. Bye-bye.